Good day everyone and we meet yet again. Um, it's really been a while and I know that you've been working hard on those exams, you know, trying to make sure that you ace them. And uh, by the way, um, just make sure that uh, for those of you that haven't subscribed on our channel, please do the right thing. And I see that some of you have been watching, enjoying the content, but you haven't subscribed. Please do the right thing and become part of the family. We're still going to produce great content together. Okay. And um, by the way, uh, some of you have been asking me about private tutoring. Uh, for those of you that need private tutoring, whether on maths or in physics, okay, in physical science, that is, uh, so that's inclusive of chemistry, uh, please just, uh, you can just send me an email at info at Mlungi Singosi, my name and surname, okay, uh, .co.za. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that I drop that on the on the comment section. I'm just going to pin it on the comment section uh, so that you can uh, just arrange those lessons. And by the way, um, just make sure that you keep working hard, ladies and gents. Those exams are just around the corner. Uh, so let's try and um, ace them together. Okay. Right. So I picked up a question from uh, Gauteng 2016. And I wanted us to kind of look at that question together. All right. On how to tackle it. Uh, it's a combination of energy principles as well as um, uh, momentum principles. And I, I'll, I'll show you how uh, they actually come together. Okay. Right. So uh, let's get right into it. Okay. So they say a roller skate approaches an inclined plane at a constant velocity of 20 meters per second as shown below. Okay. So there's our story there. Okay. So um, we can see there's our roller skater over there. And he picks up that boy that's standing in his way and then continues up the incline and reaches point B. So it uh, means that they get to that point over there, right? They say the total mass of the roller skater is 68 kilograms and that of the boy is 12 kilograms. Now, first thing that they ask us is state the principle of conservation of linear momentum. I'm sure by now, ladies and gents, you can not only just state it, but you can sing it. So, um, just make sure that you get those principles right. It says in an, uh, in an isolated system, the total linear momentum is conserved, right? So now let's go to 4.2. They say calculate the magnitude of the combined velocity of the roller skater um, and the boy just after uh, the boy is picked up. Okay, so now what's going to happen? Obviously, they were separate. Okay, so they were separated there. So I'm going to say, all right, so on 4.2, Let's apply the principle of conservation of linear momentum, okay? And by the way, by the way, just a secret uh, between you and I. Whenever an examiner uh, asks you to state a certain principle, chances are that in the next question you are going to have to uh, apply that principle. So, yeah, don't tell them I warned you about that, okay? <laughs> okay, so that's just a tip between you and I, okay? So look at this. So now they asked us about the principle, okay? And now we are uh, applying that principle. So I'm going to say, well, the sum of momentum uh, before collision, okay, is going to be the sum of their momenta after collision, okay? So now I know, okay, so we've got the roller skater, so it's going to be the mass of the roller skater, the velocity of the roller skater, right, before collision, plus now I won't even waste time about this, right? You can see the boy was stationary before collision, so it means that the momentum uh, before collision was actually zero, right? But what happens after collision, right? So now they are moving together. Obviously, uh, the, the, the roller skater picks up that boy and now they're moving together. So it means that I'm going to simply put those masses together. So mass of the roller skater, mass of the boy, right? And obviously our final velocity. Now, please keep in mind when we talk about uh, momentum principle, please remember to just choose a positive direction. It's always important to choose a positive direction. Um, in this case, I'm just going to state, uh, uh, I'm going to take the right as positive. Okay, so now let's try and substitute. They told us it's 68 ki uh, kilograms. So that's 68 multiplied by a positive 20, right? So before collision, he was moving at 20 meters per second to the right. Okay, plus zero. 
and in this case I've got 68 plus 12 okay that's their uh, that's their masses and we're looking for that final velocity all right let's calculate it quickly okay so I'm just simply going to say this is 68 multiplied by 20 okay and in this case 68 plus 12 divided by uh, 68 plus 12 and I get a velocity of uh, 17 meters per second. So it only makes sense that after they actually um, they collided or after the boy, uh, the roller skater picked up the boy, that his velocity would now be, uh, would decrease, right? Because uh, obviously, first of all, the boy was stationary and now the mass is uh, much bigger on the roller skate okay so uh, they said we should just state the magnitude of it so that's why i'm not stating the direction but note if they just said to you calculate the velocity so in that case you would need remember velocity is a vector okay so you need to state that direction as well okay right now let's go to uh, 4.3 quickly right so now they say use energy principles uh, to calculate the distance uh, 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 that they will move up the incline before coming to a stop at point B, right? They say ignore the effects of friction. Now, ladies and gents, I want you to please remember. Now, if you haven't watched uh, the videos on work energy and power, particularly where I state, um, you know, I talk about the, the principle of conservation of momentum, okay? Uh, please just go and watch that video. It will really help you a lot. Now note, in this case, note they stated very clearly that there is no friction. And by the way, there is no applied force. So what caused them to actually move up the incline? It was the momentum that they already had as they entered up the incline, isn't it? Okay, so in this case, let's try and apply um you know principles of energy right okay so we know that momentum before collision should be equal to momentum uh, not not before collision rather uh, 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 mechanical energy rather uh, at this point here when they picked up the boy and the mechanical energy there why why am I using mechanical energy principles? Remember, in this case, there's no applied force. There is no frictional force. And what does that mean? It means that mechanical energy is conserved. It means that it is an isolated system. So I'm going to use mechanical energy principles, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to cheat this a little bit, but you'll see. It's not really cheating, but you'll see wh what I mean. So moment, uh, mechanical energy, okay? Or some of you use EMAC, okay? So mechanical energy at point, if we can call that point A, right? So I'm going to say mechanical energy at point A is equal to the mechanical energy at point B, right? Now remember what's happening here they started at the bottom of this ramp, okay? So at the bottom of this ramp, I know that they are mechanical energy. So it's the sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy um, at A is equal to the sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy at B. Why are we using this principle? Because there is no applied force there is no frictional force. It is an isolated system. Okay, right. So um, let's talk about the bottom there, right? So this is going to be, there definitely is kinetic energy. You agree with me when they picked uh, up the boy, they were moving at uh, 17 meters per second. So there definitely is uh, kinetic energy. So that's going to be their combined mass there. All right, V squared. But what would be the potential energy when they started at the bottom here? Right, remember there is no height. They have not moved above this reference point here. So their potential energy, they still have zero potential energy. However, as they move up, so now we're talking at point B. Remember they tell us that uh, they will stop, right? They said calculate the distance, the incline before coming to a stop. So what does that say? At B their kinetic energy is zero, 
but what do we know about their potential energy they now have uh, their potential energy at that point there okay right if you want to um, just to show you something there uh, remember their mass is the same there as well as uh, at that point so you can divide both sides and by the way I once saw a question where they did not give you the mass but you can still solve very well without the mass because uh, if I divide by mass uh, on the left hand side whatever I do on the left I do on the right so in this case what it will do is that it will cancel those masses over there okay right so I'm just simply going to say this is half of 17 squared uh, which is equal to remember gravitational acceleration that's 9.8 multiplied by the height now you might be wondering to yourself but why am I calculating the height now remember that distance there will be related to the height isn't it okay quickly let's calculate that so this is going to be 0 0.5 times uh, 17 okay squared all right and I'm going to divide that by 9.8 and I get an answer of 14.74 okay so my height will be 17 point uh, sorry 14 rather uh, 14 point uh, 74 okay um, some of you if you want to you can say 7 14.75 uh, right it's really neither here nor there all right now in this case we know that that is the vertical height but that's not what they asked for what did they ask for they actually wanted the distance there okay that they moved up now I can take that as a if you can see that there we've got somewhat of a triangle can you see all right uh, so that will be one side okay and I'm just going to put that height over there so this is my height okay of 17.74 okay and in this case I'm looking for that distance there and I know this angle is 25 degrees all right I'm sure some of you can already see it I can hear you screaming at the top of your lungs okay saying yeah we can use um, you know um, um, trig ratios right and which trig ratio are we going to use now we're going to say well this is opposite we've got the opposite side and we want the hypotenuse so we know we're going to simply say well this is the sine of angle 25 all right so the sine of angle 25 is going to be opposite side which is 17.74 okay divided by our hypotenuse which is our distance right okay and all that we simply do is cross multiply right I'm just going to continue over to the other side so this is going to be so our distance okay is going to be 17 uh, so if I cross multiply over there all right this is going to be 17 point seven four divided by the sine of 25 okay uh, so I'm going to say divided by the sine of 25 and I simply get 35 okay so I get a distance of about 34.88 meters or you can just simply round that off to 35 okay right so uh, in this case that is how we would tackle that question all right now let's look at the very last question that they gave to us they say how will the answer uh, to question 4.3 be affected if friction between the wheels of the roller skater or of the roller skate rather and the surface is not ignored right choose increase decrease or remain the same and give a reason for your answer of course in this case uh, how would our answer be uh, affected it would definitely decrease okay and the answer to that is quite simple all right because by um, uh, you know by introducing friction uh, this time around okay it will simply decrease uh, the the net force okay so now you'd have a net force that would be in the opposite direction and it would affect in this case the distance that would be covered okay right um, by the way uh, that question was quite straightforward 
you know, its work, uh, its me its mechanical uh, mechanical energy principles, as well as principles of, um, you know, momentum combined into one question. All right. I hope you enjoyed that question and I'll see you guys again next time. Please don't forget to subscribe for those that haven't. All right. Shop shop. Eta.